A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Luke chapter 21 verses 34 to 36 Passage taken from the message version of the Bible But be on your guard Don't let the sharp edge of your expectation get dulled by parties and drinking and shopping Otherwise that day is going to take you by complete surprise spring on you suddenly like a trap for it is going to come on everyone everywhere at once so whatever you do don't go to sleep at the switch pray constantly that you will have the strength and wits to make it through everything that's coming and end up on your feet before the son of man the gospel of the lord Reflections on the Gospel according to St Luke chapter 21 verses 34 to 36 Pope Francis suggests to develop two attitudes to live the time between now and Christmas to be mindful and to pray Have you ever experienced a lack of direction and restlessness in life It could be the result of our self-centeredness and lack of concern for others we are so focused on our individual projects and plans and we forget to be mindful of the needy brother or sister in our neighborhood whom we come across on the streets we are being blocked by our own lives with its problems its joys its sufferings and we are always turning around ourselves i me and mine that's all what concerns me but this attitude destroys the virtues of charity and empathy it makes one's life so dull and drives us away from hope the root of lethargy and laziness that the gospel speaks about begins with our self-centered and selfish attitudes The season of advent invites us to a commitment to vigilance looking beyond ourselves expanding our mind and heart in order to open ourselves up to the needs of our brothers and sisters and to the desire for a new world it is the desire of many people tormented by hunger by injustice and by war it is the desire of the poor the weak the abandoned people This is a favorable time to open our hearts to ask ourselves concrete questions about how and for whom we expend our lives. The gospel is a caution. Pray constantly is the invitation. We await Jesus in prayer and vigilance, praying, awaiting Jesus, opening ourselves to others, being mindful not withdrawn to ourselves speaking at the general audience on 19th may this year pope francis spoke of three enemies of prayer distractions spiritual dryness and sloth praying is not easy says the pope many difficulties present themselves in prayer it is necessary to know them recognize them and overcome them he said sloth is one of the seven deadly sins because it can lead to the death of the soul the pope urged the faithful to fight against distractions developing the often forgotten virtue of vigilance throughout the gospels jesus urged his disciples to practice this virtue in a moment that we do not know the voice of our lord will resound on that day blessed will be those servants whom he will find industrious still focused on what really matters progress in spiritual life consists in being able to persevere in difficult times the pope asks us to learn to pray like the biblical figure of job protesting at god's actions 
we who are far less holy and patient than job know that at the end at the end of this time of struggles god will answer our prayers